In this demo, I'm going to show you how to create a real-time dashboard based on a PostgreSQL database. First download Pulse and then run Pulse.exe. This will load the server and should also open a browser window to your local instance of Pulse. Now we can add a connection to our Postgres database, go to Connections, Add Data Connection, make sure to select Postgres. I'm running on the default port of 5432, the database is StockDB, my user is Postgres, and enter your own password. If you want to test it, click Test, assuming it's OK, click Add. By default, some example SQL queries are shown. We want to instead take the SQL for public and database from the website, paste it into the editor, make sure I've selected the MySQL database and press send query. This will create and populate the database. We can check this by running a select query. So we type in the query, Press Control Enter to run that line, and we can see that the table has been populated. To create our first chart, we must first add a dashboard. Go to Dashboards, Add Dashboard. This will create a new entry, in this case, Odyssey. Either click Edit the Gwen or toggle the design mode. And now we want to begin to add our chart and I want a time series chart. I click time series. The query is failing. If we examine why, so it is going against MySQL, but it's a default query that doesn't apply to our database. From the website, or you can type in this query that will work for our MySQL database. Save query, and instantly the time series graph is populated. Next, I want to add a table component. So I click and now I click to place wherever I want to position it. Again, the default query isn't working. I want to select from stock and we'll do where sim equals G O O G. Get our one row. I can resize it. And there we have a grid. Let's add another type of chart. This time, let's make it a candlestick. So again, I go to the component bar. I select add a candlestick chart, and I click to drop where I wish to position. Again, I have a query ready. You can copy that from the website. Then I press Save Query or Control Enter, and it will populate the data. If ever you wonder what the table looks like, you can press the quick toggle to toggle between the table and the chart. Okay, so, so far we have a chart for Amazon, another chart for Google, and a table of data for Google. Um, nice, but it's not the most useful to a user. To be useful to a user, we need to let them dynamically specify which stock they're interested in. To allow user interaction, we add a user form. You can click and place it. Now within the form, we can add other components that allow input. In this case, I'm going to add a drop down. And you can see that it's been hard coded to specify New York City, London, etc. We actually want it to be dynamically populated based on what is in the database. So click the data source to SQL, specify MySQL database, and let's select distinct sim from our OHLC table. And you can see it's now populated and maybe to make it easier on the user, order by sim. What this will do when click is populate the key one variable. So if I take the name of the variable, I can now place it into the other queries. So instead of G O O G, delete that, use parenthesis, specify our key name. 
So I've done that for that chart. I'll do it for the candlestick. Again, double parenthesis. And lastly, for the table. Now, when I select one of the stocks, the rest of the charts and tables get updated by using that variable. I'm happy with my work so far, so let's save a draft. It adjusts the screen a little and takes a screenshot. So now if I went to dashboards, you can see Odyssey has a screenshot. And if I click in, it's exactly how I saved it, including with CVX selected. Lastly, let's demonstrate a live updating chart. So create another time series. Place our query into the query editor. Make sure we've selected the MySQL server. I'll replace the sim with our key that we were using for forms. And you can see it's currently returning one result. On the website, you'll find a number of inserts that will insert live quotes. Copy that. Let's open our editor in another window. Paste that in. And let's run the first few rows. It hasn't updated very quickly. Let's check. So it's only every five seconds. Let's make it faster. And as I highlight rows and press Control E to run them, you'll see the graph update live. Obviously, you would normally be using a, a real system that's piping data in from a Java process or C sharp rather than run, manually running the length. To recap, in this demo, I showed how to create a database, add your first time series chart, then create a user form to allow interaction by the user to select certain stocks. And lastly, I showed a live updating chart that plotted a new time series as live data arrived. Hopefully you find this useful. You can find the tutorial for this on the website and you can download Pulse and give it a go now. Thanks.